Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and last week, Tia, the Themed Entertainment Association, <laughs> which is basically a group that uh, all thing retracts all things theme parks, <laughs> released their 2019 attendance uh, annual attendance for the world's um, world's theme parks as well as North America's theme parks. But in this video, we're going to discuss the top uh, ten, the top ten uh, attendance or the top 10 uh, most attended theme parks in the world. Of course, as you can expect, most of them are Disney and Universal parks, but not just the domestic parks, but there are ones from around the world as well. But starting off from uh, 10, number 10, there's actually a park that's close to Hong Kong Disney, but not Disney, and uh, not Hong Kong Disney. It's actually Chimlong Ocean Kingdom. Chimlong Ocean Kingdom, had 10.3, I'm sorry, 10.83 million visitors. That's right, 10.83 million visitors um, in last year. That's a 10.6% increase the, um, than 2018. And that, uh, the Chemlong Ocean Kingdom is, it's, uh, they have rides, but it's also, they have like the world's largest aquarium. It's really it's like a like a giant sea world, probably better themed giant sea world only in China. I think it's in Hong Kong, I believe. I believe, I believe it's next to near home Hong Kong Disneyland. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I believe, or I think it's Ocean Park that's next to Hong Kong Disneyland. But Chimlong Ocean Kingdom is in China, and I looked it up, and it looks like it's a really really cool place. So definitely go if you want to check it out and uh, let me know exactly where it is in the comments below if you can and let's see number eight uh, number nine sorry is disney's hollywood studios yes <laughs> disney's hollywood studios popped up to number nine to 11.258 million visitors in the year 2019 it's a five percent increase i'm sure um, the opening of Galaxy's Edge last year, at the end of last year, helped that big time. Uh, it helped a little bit of that, but definitely Toy Story Land in 2018 may have helped as well. People wanting waiting till 2019 to visit both lands made a 5% increase um, in the amount of um, people that for that small park. There's only about six, somewhere about nine attractions or so. Um, so they definitely need some new additions, and hopefully after coronavirus, Disneyland, or in a couple years later, Disney will get their budgets together and they can add some additions to uh, Disney. Also, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, Runaway Railway definitely helped with that attendance as well. But it couldn't beat number eight with 11.8 million views. It's Shanghai Disneyland, the Shanghai Disneyland Park, and it's a fourth year, or actually third year, it was opened about 2016, so yeah, third year, um, 2016 or 2017, but anyway, it has 11.8 million v uh, visitors, just uh, slightly more, or a few more than Disney's Hollywood Studios, so it's 7.3 increase from 2018, they've had some new additions as well, I know they've had a Toy Story Land expansion, um, and then Zoom a Zootopia, Zootopia themed ex expansion, which should be fantastic. Can't wait to see if that looks like Disney's first ever Zootopia land. So that'll be really cool. Shanghai Disneyland, of course, is also the first Disney park to reopen from the COVID-19 um, closures. So that should help its attendance for 2020, because it definitely was not closed as long as some of the other parks are. Let me know in the comments below, have you been to Shanghai Disneyland, and what was your favorite part about it? <laughs> this next Disney park has popped into the 12 point, uh, 12 point um, million range, with 12.44 million visitors, with 2% increase from 2018. Epcot rounds out number 7 as... um. This is all before their big expansions as well. They have lots of big expansions for Disney World's 50th anniversary that have unfortunately lots of them been pushed back or even canceled. But hopefully they'll return for Epcot's 50th anniversary in a few years. But they have Gardens Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, 
that's the um, a new entrance some sort of festival center the current one got canceled but um, <laughs> I hope they'll come back in some form they have a new nighttime show that's a temporary show that mm, it's supposed to be placed by a permanent show later on this year hopefully that will still happen they have Ratatouille coming and they have some other great stuff uh, some new films in the in the pavilions but they also had Frozen Ever After open in the past couple years and all of that has popped up Ep uh, Epcon's attendance by 2% to 12.44 million visitors and another Disney World Park it's been the last Disney World Park for a while on this list but 13.7 13 13.7 13 let's see 75 million visitors that's a 10% a massive 10% increase it's Disney's Animal Kingdom my personal favorite Disney World Park I'm sorry Magic Kingdom sorry Hollywood Studios Hollywood Studios is number two but Animal Kingdom with nearly 14 million visitors is my favorite um, Disney Park. It's a Disney World Park. It's the world's largest theme park by area. I love all the attractions there. Of course, um, Pan. Everyone comes goes to see Pandora. So that's a beautiful addition. I have not seen it yet, so I, I'm sad to see it. Also, I love Expedition Everest. That park deserves deserves as much love as it can get. So I'm so happy we got a 10% increase, and um, some a slew of attractions just closed. And the Dinoland area, providing the potential um, paving way for a potential redo of the land in a potential maybe Indiana Jones land or dinosaur could be rethemed to some other IP. As Primeval World has permanently closed and the Rivers of, of Light, uh, Light not Nighttime show unfortunately got canceled as well, both due to COVID 19. Although Primeval World was already seasonal and was already on its way out, most likely this is just a perfect time to do it. Now, this next park actually had it decrease in visitors in the um decrease in visitors in the last year since twenty from twenty eighteen to twenty ten with a with fourteen point sixty sorry fourteen point three million vi uh, visitors a four point three percent decrease the only park with a decrease on this Universal Studios Japan which is most is the he uh, most attended Universal Park on the planet. I'm assuming there's no other Universal Park on this list. But with a 4.3% decrease, I'm not entirely sure why the decrease happened. They have some amazing additions. They have Super Nintendo World opening this year. Um, or hopefully this year, maybe the early next. They said it was, it was still, or it's almost done. If you see, you've probably seen social media posts, pictures of it, almost done. And either open late this year, or maybe early next year, or next summer in 2021, when uh, tourism picks back up. The, but the land itself, is they are constantly working on it, and again, it's just about finished. Uh, from my, from what I've seen, Universal Studios Japan is a beautiful, beautiful park. They even have some great coasters like Backdraft, and of course, a flying dinosaur, and of course, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Staying in Japan, our next park is a Disney park, and it is widely considered the most beautiful theme park in the world. I've never been, but from the pictures, it looks absolutely gorgeous and definitely a bucket list theme park. That is Tokyo. Disney Sea, 14.651 million visitors, that's an 8.5% increase, which is awesome, soaring around the world, just opened there, I believe, either late last year or early this year, I, uh, ever since COVID, the, the months have been flying by, so I'm not, I keep, I forget when things open, but soaring around the world, definitely, uh, but I think it was actually late last year that it opened, it's absolutely beautiful, it's the most beautifully themed soaring around the world, or soaring building, uh, that Disney's ever built and all the three parks they have it in this it's like a museum it's really really cool um, so that obviously drive to attendance it's very popular attraction in the California Adventure very popular attraction in Epcot so definitely drive to attendance there for a nice eight and a half percent increase and Mount Pro Prometheus got a nice upgrade as well and attendance for Tokyo didn't see even with this COVID should still potentially go up as um the uh, Tokyo Disney Sea's Fancy Springs expansion should be complete later on this year or early next year. Hopping across the way with a 7.9% increase, Tokyo Disneyland. Tokyo Disneyland has some great expansions. Some that are supposed to open on April 15th, but of course got delayed due to coronavirus. Those expansions, I'm not sure if they're open. The park is, I believe, open. 
I think, yeah, I think the park's open. But I'm not sure if the, uh, the Tomorrowland expansions and the Beauty of the Beast attraction have opened yet. I do not think so. But those attractions should be opening and, of course, give that another, uh, uh, that park an attendance booth. 7.9 increase um, from tw uh, 2018. Last year in 2019, that's 7.907 million visitors. That's wow, it's almost like at least two and a half million more than Tokyo Disney Sea, which is crazy. <laughs> Because Tokyo didn't see it seems like the better park, in my opinion. But everyone loves the Magic Kingdom style parks. And speaking of the Magic Kingdom style parks, the last two, of course, are <coughs> Magic Kingdom style parks. And they've been the last, um, they've been, um, the top two for <laughs> decades in attendance. Disneyland attendance went up 2%, 8666 million after Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened. Of course, it was, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was a little bit quieter than they expected, but the attendance still went up 2%. Probably not m as much as they had hoped, but it, at least it adds more capacity to the park and enhance, it enhanced Project Stardust, which is um, a much needed, uh, much needed project to open up some walkways, because some of the walkways, even before Galaxy's Edge, were very, very crowded on busy days, so Project Star Stardust has really, really helped with crowd flow, whether uh, it's busy or not, and <laughs> whether or not Galaxy's Edge is busy or not, because the rest of the park still gets busy. And <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely good to fi fix those pinch points. And of course, the number one, not a surprise, the Magic Kingdom. Of course, the Magic Kingdom style park, uh, Disney World is 20.8. Five nine million views. That's a two percent increase from 2018. And they didn't really add much. Not much to say here. Besides, it's just just like Disneyland. It's just like the Magic Kingdom. Um, <laughs> iconic style parks, and uh, everyone loves to visit them. Uh, the especially the Magic Kingdom might take a hit this year. <laughs> With the travel restrictions, it's mostly a travel or mostly a destination park, so people travel across the world and the country to visit it. So it might take a big hit this year, but um, Disneyland should fare much, much better with their annual pass holders, and obviously if the parks closed, the attendance at all these parks will take a big hit this year. be interesting interesting to see what the numbers are with a lot of these parks having been closed for the uh, first half of the year when the numbers come out at this time next year. But what do you guys think of the top 10 uh, park theme parks? Which parks have you attended? Which parks are on your bucket list to attend? And... Uh, the, are you surprised by the numbers? I'm not surprised by the numbers at all, but it's very interesting to see some international parks, non-universal inter Disney parks, like, well, there's only one, I guess, Chimlong Ocean Kingdom, start to make that top ten. I wonder if in the future, more and more international non-Disney universal parks will crack the top ten, and if so, that means uh, Disney Universal better ever. Uh, step up their game, especially at the international parks. But so far, <laughs> that does not look like it is happening. If you like this video, please comment below or please uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Check out some theme park wizard merch if you'd like a face mask or a new t shirt. I have some new Frozen inspired shirts coming out later this week. They're available for pre order now. And subscribe for more theme park updates, including a trip <laughs> to Knott's Bay Farm this Saturday for the Taste of Calico event. And as always, have a fantastic day.